This one, court cam man lights up in the courtroom. This one might be entertaining. Yodelanapparel.com, 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 Yodelanapparel.com. Yodelanapparel.com, 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 motherfucker, holy shit. The view through the courthouse security camera seems pretty typical. The judge, lawyers, defendants, everyone conducting standard court business. Until a deputy approaches a man slumped over at the end of the second row. He's unresponsive and can't be revived. Apparently, he's overdosed right there in the gallery. Can you tell me five things? Thank you for the fucking Swedish money, bro. You feel me? I'm going back to Sweden this year, bro. It, it don't go further than that. It don't go further than that. Thank you for the donation, my friends. Real spill. As court proceedings continue, unaware of the situation, a nurse seen here in blue is called in to check on the man. She acts fast and administers a dose of Narcan. What the fuck happened? Why is this dude just not enough in the goddamn courtroom? Why is he there in the first place, bro? Fu went to the court to just to do fucking drugs. And like I understand if you're in jury duty type. I've never been a jury duty type shit, but I understand you go to jury duty type shit. You feel me? Like when you smoke like three bong rips or you smoke like four backwards before you go in that bitch. You feel me? But why the fuck would you go up to heroin at that point? Just don't go. Just don't go to fucking jury duty, bro. But is this jury duty? I'm not sure what jury duty is because I've never got damn it been. Second is this jury duty or like what is he doing back there? Why is he just back there off the fucking drugs? That's crazy. Jury. The man is revived. Officers help him to his feet and he's escorted out of the courtroom where he refuses further medical treatment and leaves. All right, in the courtroom, please. The near fatal overdose was shocking enough, but not nearly as bizarre as what happened that very same day, just a few hours earlier. This is the arraignment of 20 year old Spencer Allen Boston. At a traffic stop two months earlier, Boston received citations for speeding and simple possession of marijuana. As he walks up to the That's fucked up. Podium. Judge Haywood Where is this at? Alabama or some shit? Harry's informed that You guys think he's a Yodi gang member? They said he was 20 years old, bro. It's a lot of tw it could be a Yodi gang member. This fool sparked up in the court. Maybe he just wanted the Yodi gang to react to this, bro. There's no way. Y'all think he's Yodi gang? He said he wants to represent himself in this case. I told him today was just a ring. He looks like a fucking Yodi gang member, bro. Like, I'm gonna be real, he looks like I'm going, like, he looks like I'm in the smoke shop, bro, and I'm buying some backwoods at the smoke shop, and then I hear from behind me, yo, Yodi gang? And then I look over, and it's probably, like, someone like that standing, bro, like, he looks like a Yodi gang member, bro. He's gotta be a Yodi gang member, bro. He's gotta be a Yodi gang member, bro. Not to which he responded, I just want to plead my case to the court. He's gotta be, bro. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug. And it's been around for ages. Since Yo, the but he's like, um, well conducted and shit. Like, he's speaking well, bro. He's not speaking like... Like, bro, he's speaking fluently and well, bro. Like, he's speaking the truth and shit, but he's playing with fire, bro. I've heard all that baloney all my life. So don't, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. Tennessee, they're in Tennessee, Yodi family. He said it probably is unfair, so he knows it's unfair. Yo, thank you for the donation, my friend. You a big inspiration, FR Rebel Alliance. Yo, factoid, shout out to the Rebel Alliance. Best believe it, real spill. Don't see the legislature to get that change. My bad is so bright. I'm just sorry. Quickly returns to the matter at hand. Now, if you want to plead guilty, you can today. But if you want a trial, we can give you a trial of the officer's state. Which uh, it's Officer Vincent. Officer Vincent? You want to face trial, 
Uh, yeah, we can do that. That'd be fun, and you, then you make another speech. As the judge works with court employees to schedule a trial date, May 7th. Austin decides to take action. As he pulls out what appears to be a joint. No one seems to notice until, shockingly, he lights up. Yo! No fucking way! He's definitely fucking Yodi Gang, bro. I have fucking, I have made the world sick, dog. I made the world sick, dog. This fool is definitely Yodi Gang. Why didn't he not say Fulcrum? Come in. He should have pulled a Fulcrum. Come in. He should have said Fady than Hope. 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 Bro, this is crazy, dog. Yo, he's definitely Yodi family, bro. Dude. I know a fucking Yodi Gang member when I see one. For real, for real. Boston may have finally pleaded his case. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of funny, bro. I wonder, like, what his I wonder what his um punishment is gonna be for this. You feel me? I wonder if it was worth it. Like, if he's in jail for a week, like, you know, it's like bad. But if what if he's got like years of fucking charges for this, bro? It definitely wasn't worth it and shit, bro. Definitely wasn't worth it. It definitely was funny. It was some Yodi gang activities for sure. But he's immediately taken away by the court officer. And Judge Barry gets the final word. Take him to jail. Slapping Boston with a disorderly conduct charge, as well as another charge of possession. The judge also holds him in contempt of court, and Boston is forced to spend 10 days in jail. The joint was collected as evidence. Joining us now is Spencer Allen Boston. Apparently <laughs> you wanted to make a statement about the law, but looking back on it, was this the right way to do it? Yes, sir. In my eyes, that was the right way to do it. I mean, bro, it like I, I would say it was kind of worth it, bro. Like, he definitely made a statement. Like, he, we can't not say he didn't make a statement, bro. This was two years ago. He wasn't Yodi Gang. There's no way he's Yodi Gang. This was two fucking years ago, bro. I wasn't doing that shit back then. This dude is the... Ri bro, is this dude the original Fulcrum? Is this dude the original Fulcrum? Bro, I'm the fake fucking Fulcrum. I was trying to say this dude was like, nah. I was trying to say that I influenced this dude, but nah, is this dude the original Fulcrum, dog? Am I not the original Fulcrum, bro? Am I not the fucking original Fulcrum, dude? Say, oh, you could protest and, you know, talk to the House of Reps or, you know, talk to the legislative and, you know, whatever else, but in a way, they're not listening to us. So the only way to really grab attention is 